6ish a.m. I was supposed to wake up at 5, but I slept way too late last night, so I just slept in and I feel so dead. Today's a really busy work day, so I had to get up early because I want to make sure that I fit everything in that I usually do in the morning before I start working. So I'm about to head to the gym now. I put on my favorite gym outfit. And we're gonna go do an incline walk today because I have a bunch of stuff to edit uh, on the treadmill. But first, coffee. Don't forget the water. Let's go. I listen to podcasts when I'm driving and this is my favorite at the moment Diary of a CEO by Steve Bartlett such an incredible podcast he interviews really successful people and they're super vulnerable and it just really motivates me so I'm going to listen to this one today I usually wash my hair every 
every few days and so some of my air wrap kind of stays, the curls, but I usually have to touch it off when I'm going out. I wanted to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's episode, my favourite jewellery brand, Majuri. As someone who wears jewellery every single day, Majuri has been my go-to destination for jewellery for the longest time. You can get the best quality everyday staples and also more elevated pieces. Today, Majuri has kindly sent me some pieces from their new hoop standard collection. Let me come closer just to show you guys how beautiful these hoops are. I chose three different types of hoops all in gold vermeil but they also come in silver i'm definitely a gold girl so i picked these very classic hoops so beautiful and also these chunky hoops are my favorite from the collection just because they're so beautiful they can be dressed up or down as you can with the rest of the collection but i love how bold these are and then the last pair that majuri sent me were these very slim hoops you guys like more of a subtle look, these are the perfect option. So stunning. I'm going to link the hoops, so all of these hoops, my other Majuri favourites, so my bracelets, my rings and also my necklaces, all in the description box below. And if you did want to treat yourself to a bit of sparkle to start the new year, my link does give you 10% off store wide. Thank you so much Majuri, let's get back into my day. A lot of you guys ask how I do my signature blowout look. I'm just going to do a mini tutorial now, but I'll do a more in-depth one next. But pretty much because I'm curling the left side of my hair, I have the little... Maybe this is easier. I have the little arrow thing pointing to the right side because I want the curls to go away from my face. I tend to section my hair in three layers because my hair is layered and so it looks better if it's those individual curls kind of layered on top of each other. And so I'm just doing the back now, but I usually start like to start from the back to the front so I don't miss any strands and have one random strand of straight hair. Pretty much what I do is I grab the strand of hair, I the air up here, and then I turn it on and then it wraps around. I make sure that it's wrapped around. So what I usually like to do is hold it with my hand and let it wrap around and then just seamlessly drag it up because it's going to suck all the hair anyway. So let me just do a little demo and then after it kind of sucked to the top I hold it for about 5 to 10 seconds then I push the button up to do a cold shot to set it so let's just And so when I'm doing the right side, I flick the arrow over to the left. Oh, timers. It's like super curly. Now I'm going to move on to the top. And what I like to do for the top two layers is I flip all of my hair over to one side. And then I find uh, the middle. Oh gosh. That doesn't have to be exact. Flip it over like this. I use a clip to twist one side, and then I just have all of this left, and I like to section it like this. So it's just easier because when you have too much hair, the air wrap actually doesn't take it in, and so you're better off sectioning it out so you get every single little strip of hair instead of you know having some areas straight and some areas curly. I used to hate sectioning because I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much effort. But it makes your life so much easier if you do section it. I'm just gonna clip it haphazardly over here. Because I only have one clip, I lost the other one. So I think this drum is a bit too big, so you can kind of see how it's a bit nice curly. Brief interlude, but my dad literally came into the bathroom and got me a coffee, and I'm so happy. The hair is mostly done. Just left my bangs because I want to show you guys how I do them. So what I like to do is I put all my curled hair behind my ears so it doesn't fall forward. I like to get 
my face foaming things to the front as well. I've seen so many tutorials where people use this brush, the round brush, to do their bangs. But for me, I don't know why, I don't know if it's because my hair grows in a different direction, but it does not stay and it doesn't work. It literally just ends up doing, looking like horns. It does not work. So I actually use this, the wrappy thing, to do my bangs. And the way that I do it differently is when I'm doing the left side of my hair, I flip the arrow over to the left side. Because to do my bangs, I don't do it this way, you do it up. So you have everything horizontal, like this. And then when you're doing the right side, flip it to the right side and you do it like this. And it actually really works for me. I tend to do it horizontally and then I angle it down a bit so when it falls, the hair falls on top of each other instead of being like straight. And for me, my bangs are kind of thick, so I like to section it into two parts. And it actually gives a really nice laid effect. So I do the back first, and then I'll go do the front. So let me show you guys. Same technique, left, left. Let it wrap. And just hold it there, so don't put it down. And then I'm holding it. Not a little better. Hold it on it. It's super curly right now, but I actually prefer a curlier bang as opposed to a straight bang because it does fall over the course of the day. Ooh. <laughs> well, usually, okay, that's fine. See, perfect, look at it. It's so perfect. And then straight afterwards, I just put my hair back to the front, kind of wriggle out the crazy curls. I tend to spray the front where the curl is because that's the part that tends to get straight over the course of the day. And since I'm shooting this afternoon, I'm actually going to put a lot of hairspray in so it just doesn't, it just doesn't like fall. Moisturize, it's so cooling and I really love it. If I want more of a matte vibe, I just use the YSL um, Touche Eclat Blur Primer. First up, I always just do my eyelashes. This is the MVP, this mascara. It's the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Waterproof Mascara and your curls, your lash curls will stick. I'm just gonna go do my makeup now. It's probably gonna take me 15, 20 minutes. My makeup is officially done. My hair kept on falling, so I had to keep on hairspraying it. But I'm just gonna be running errands today and also just have a photo shoot in the afternoon. And so I'm just gonna go with a super simple outfit, just a basic t-shirt and a maxi skirt. That's super comfortable because it's super hot today. So let me put that on. Skirt is on, it's so stunning. Now for the t-shirt, give me a second. Basic everyday look for today. So now that I'm ready for the day, I like to plan out my day using a journal and I just word vomit my whole to-do list before popping it onto Google Calendar and time blocking everything. And then I just get on with the rest of my day. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. It was really fun making it and showing you guys exactly what I do every single day. I've been following this routine for years and it's been really helpful for me. If you did like this video, please subscribe and just let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. I've got so much I want to share with you all. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.